What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random. And we're back at the handheld um, holding of the camera. Do I need to wash my face? I think I washed my face earlier today. Do I have eye boogers? Mm, let me wash my face again. I'm not sure. I thought I washed my face earlier, but like, I'm a little crusty, so I can just go ahead and wash it again. No big deal. Um, I found the apartment. I found the apartment that I want, okay? Now, here's a couple problems with the apartment that I want, okay? Um, you're on a box. I know I got a camera stand, like, literally just yesterday, but I'm not using it, so. Um, the problem with the apartment, actually, you'll hear about the problem with the apartment right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, so the problem with the apartment off the bat is that it's like a 30 minute walk from my job. Not too bad. I'm thinking about just getting a scooter after a while and also just making that walk. You know, 30 minutes in the rain pouring, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I mean, it seems like it's a straight way as well. Um, my concern is if the lights are on on the main street when I'm trying to come in from work because I'd be walking in the middle of the night a lot of times, you know what I mean? So, I want to check out the place. It seems good on camera. I already sent Stu a video of it. I was like, what do you think of this place? He's like, I like it. It's a two bedroom. Two bedroom. I know people say when you're looking for places, make sure you check out multiple different locations. I found this location and I'm like, I want it. You know what I mean? Which, I mean, I feel like the universe wouldn't send me in this direction if it wasn't directionable, okay? <laughs> so I'm just hoping that um, I can go there, kind of talk to the real estate person today, kind of get a vibe on like how the apartment's going to work because I'm tired of living out of hotels. You know what I mean? This is, this is not the life for me. Mama wasn't a rolling stone. Wherever she laid her hat was her home head. No, I'm ready to be in one place. I'm ready to create a home. Mama's trying to go to sleep in the same place for the rest of the year, you know? I don't know. Um, I was going to do my makeup and I'm wearing this shirt and I'm wearing like burgundy color. So I'm going to add a little burgundy. That seems like a lot of burgundy. That don't even seem burgundy though, honestly.
All I can do is try. I don't know. That's what I have. I put too much makeup on, okay? Don't judge me. Or judge me, you know? I don't really care. As long as I don't get in trouble at work. I put mascara on. <laughs> I didn't even look at myself in the mirror while I did it, so. I don't think it's too bad. It's red around the eyes. It's fine. But anyway, yeah, the lady told me she wasn't going to be back until a week later. I'm, like, kind of worried about losing the place. Which, why should I be worried about losing the place? If it's mine, it's going to be mine. It's period, point blank. However, I'm a little worried about losing the place. So, I'm thinking about trying to go by there this morning and just see. Just trying to, hey... Is this still available? I saw it on your website. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what information do I need? Like, trying to get that process started. So, yeah, I think I'll bring you guys along, talk about it on my way while I'm out. But um, it is about 9 o'clock, and I'm thinking about just going ahead and heading on in so I can have some extra time. Bye! What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and I'm back a little bit later from earlier. The last time you seen me, actually, it's not a little bit later. It's not, <laughs> not a little bit later. It's a lot of bit later. And let me just say, I cried today. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the emotions. The emotions were getting to me. And you guys know I was leaving to go and sign up for my apartment. And I was so ready and did it did it did and ah my ankle hurt. And then I get there and we look through the place and it's not giving what it was supposed to give. You know, it's not completely giving what it was supposed to give. But I'm tired of living out of hotels. So I was like, it's given enough and I can figure out the rest as I go. Well, I went with someone from work. Why is this water? Well, you've been going all day. You've been drip dropping all day. You've been drippity drip drip to dropping all day. Anyway, um, I go to the office. And at first, I was like, I was going to do all of this by myself. I was going to go check out the building, see how it was going to go. I was like, it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. The company was like, nah, we're going to send someone with you. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, the someone that they sent with me didn't even speak English. So I was just like, I we're tr using translator anyway. And not to put this man down, because he's the sweetest dude ever. Like, I, at the end of the day, I just felt so bad because I pretty much wasted this man's time. Even though I asked the lady before I even got there, will they accept foreigners? And she said yes. Guess what? The company decided not to accept foreigners. Also, I learned that renting apartments in where I am is completely different than renting in America. This place is owned by someone. Like someone owns the apartment and then they pull out the realtor and they say, hey, realtor, put a body inside of this place that I own, okay? And so the realtor, the, the middleman is what they really is. The middleman puts a body in that place and they get a little chunk. They get a little change for putting somebody in that place. And then they just, they setting up the paperwork so that another person can get the money. I don't know if it's like this big landlord or if it's someone who owned the place, but I'm guessing the way it was set up, it's someone who owned that specific room already. You know what I mean? I was asking questions. I was like, if I don't like this furniture, can I get rid of it? They were like, if you don't like the furniture, just move it to the side why would I move something to the side just to be looking at if I didn't like it? You know what I mean? So there's a lot of different little things that I'm like, so if I move into a place, I need to like 
the furniture. I need to like how it looks because I can't necessarily change anything, at least in that space. Because I was just asking all the questions. I was like, can they come pick it up? Or what if I wanted to get a new couch? She was like, you want to get a new couch? Just put this one over there. Like, it's still in my living space. I'm here for the aesthetics. Look at my eye makeup, which, by the way, a little of it came off because I cried today. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm not finna cry. I'm not finna cry. Cause it was just like, in my head, I was like, we just did all of this. Like we didn't do paperwork, but we spent all of this time. I thought it was going to be easy in and out. I could do it by myself. And like, it wasn't that. But like I said, you know, I'm a little happy because like the place wasn't really giving what it was supposed to give. It looked good on photos. And let me tell you, anybody can look good on photos if you take it at the right angle. <laughs> Case in point, look at my outfit for today. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm struggling. Look at my outfit for today. because I caught people taking pictures of me on the train multiple times today. I know I look good. Heck, heck, heck. I know I look good because I, I felt good. At least this morning, I felt good. He took a picture of me. Let me tell y'all, he took a picture. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing two pairs of pants. It's the winter. It's the winter, baby. It's the winter. Two pairs of pants is the minimum. That's the, I feel like my booty looking better since I got here. Let me tell you, that butt looking mighty big. <laughs> the butt, you know it's something going on with the gut stick out more than the, wait, when the butt stick out more than the gut, you feel me? Yes, 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 Lord. Anyway, I did not end up with an apartment today. Also, here's the Billy. She's gotten a little smaller. She's gotten a little, she might not look like she got a little smaller to you. She got a little smaller. She got a little smaller. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah, had a hard time today. Felt sad, cried a little bit. Cause it was just like, he denied me. And then they kept calling him. Like, they were hounding this man. They were like, look, try to convince him. Duh, 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 duh. Like, they're ready to pay. Wop, wop, wop. All we need is some Fabios. Ah, why the hell is my ankle messing up? All we need is certain paperwork, sir. Like, she wants to pay money for this. He was like, nah, can't do it. Can't do it. I don't want no foreigners up in my shit. They don't want to deal with the paperwork of doing the Fapio. But I'm going to stick to my guns. I want a Fapio. Because that means that I can get money back from paying property tax. Because I got to pay property tax or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly. All I know is I was told to ask for one. So I'm going to ask for one. Gosh darn it. But yeah. That's it. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. I got to go pee. So this is my makeup for today. But you guys saw me put it on earlier. Hit you with that. Yeah, that's going to be my thumbnail. But anyway, yeah, I cried. Yeah, I was upset, but keep on keeping on. I got some Korean fried chicken coming to me. I ordered it in the taxi back to my hotel room. <laughs> in the 23rd century, baby. I ordered the chicken while I was in the taxi on my way home. I was like, I'm finna get in there. I'm finna, I smell good too. I smell good. 
But I smell good all over. Do, 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 do. I didn't really stop cutting that. You know, I did feel upset earlier, but I feel better now. I just need to take my ass home. Like, I just really wanted... I really didn't want to be in the hotel for New Year's. You know, I really wanted something... It looked like somebody was over there watching me in the background. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Um, I just really wanted my own place, but... I don't know. Happy acts. I just want something aesthetic, too. Because, like, like, even this, to a certain extent, is aesthetic. You know? I want something big enough for two people. It needs to be big enough for two people and aesthetic. You know, like I want, I don't want to look around at my furniture and be like, wow, this is ugly. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't change shit. I'd probably be better off to just get a place that's not furnished at this point, but I don't know. Anyway, I got some peace, so I gotta go. Love you.